vocals or the guitar or the, or the bass or the drums. But I have a lot of fun when I'm just, we're at sound check and I pick up Ben's bass and just start playing it. It's pretty fun. So I, I say bass. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let me ask you a question there, Nicholas. You're not off sure. the hook yet. Did anybody ever tell you you sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger, our gov former governor? Um, well, not really, but uh, it. <laughs> that's a, that's well, a compliment, no by that the way. I, since I come from Austria, I, I surely have the same accent. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> well, you know, there's the always a, there's I always a job that. for you here in California. They could use a good. Uh, <laughs> we could use a good governor about now. Um, how'd you find out about Incubus, Nicholas? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, my cousin actually introduced me to them. I was uh, I was just asking him for new music, and he was showing me a lot of different bands, and I didn't really like uh, any of them. And he wanted to show me an Incubus song, and I just saw the name Incubus, and I don't know. I, I he was showing me so much crap, but I, I just told him I don't want to listen to this anymore. And then later that day, I heard actually Drive on the radio, and I called my cousin, and I was like, oh my god, this is the most amazing song ever. And he was like, you're an idiot. That was exactly the same song I wanted to show you. <laughs> it, it's all about being in the right place at the right time. Exactly, you know? exactly. I yeah. was just too stubborn to, to listen to it uh, uh, from him, but um, it was at the same day, and yeah. he actually still... Uh, takes credit for getting me into Incubus and making me a really, really big fan. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. All right, uh, and let me ask you one final question. You've seen Incubus play live in concert? I did, actually. It was 07, I think, in in Switzerland. I was, um, I had to travel to Switzerland. Oh, we're losing you there a little bit. All right, Nicholas, uh, it, was, it was bound to happen. Oh, oh there you're uh, back. You're back, Nicholas. We lost you there for a second. Hello? Yeah, we lost you for a second there. Are you back? Okay, yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, perfect. No, um, I was saying um, it was back in 07, I think, that uh, you were doing a European tour, but you didn't come to Vienna. So I traveled to Switzerland, and it was actually a funny story because the day I got to Switzerland, you canceled the, uh, the, the concert because of Mikey's wrist. Oh, but then uh, yeah. I actually met a girl there that was nice enough that she had a VIP ticket from the Make Yourself Foundation. And uh, she invited me then uh, to come back when it was in September. So I went back, actually met you guys, and the best day of my life, definitely. It was amazing, nice. worth the wait. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. It's good to see you again then, right? <laughs> yeah, good to see you too. Yeah, man. Well, hopefully we'll see you again next year. Thanks for the call, Nicholas, and, and thanks for all your support of the band. Okay, so... Uh, Back, this love, back to the switching. Okay, well, another question from the web here. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up here in a little bit, but um, this one, somebody says they have a classic question for Chris Gilmore. Okay. I'll let you judge whether this is classic, but I think I get okay. their angle. What's your favorite record of all time? Of all time? Of is all that, time. Is that like if you're stranded on an island, what record would you take? Yeah, uh, call that one. Man. Uh, that's a tough one. Let me, I'm just going to say Legend by Bob Marley off the top of my head, just because you can listen to that record anywhere in any situation. Uh, okay. Uh, great. Um, that's a good question here. Um, let's see, what else have we got here? Um, you can tell we're, I'm new at this. Um, can you give any insight into what instruments you used most on this record, Chris? Did we cover that already? Yeah, we talked about that. Okay. That, was, that was the Mellotron. That was the, Mel oh, the Mellotron. Yeah. You know, I, I can think of a great record they used the Mellotron early on. Led Zeppelin. Led Houses Zeppelin. Houses of the Holy yeah. had a lot of... They had the Beatles a lot of, used that, the Mellotron, the Mellotron a lot. Mellotron, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what, folks? Uh, you know, Chris was talking about uh, a, a guy that we know. So, sir, tell us what your name is and how old you are and what's your question. Hello? Yo, hello? <laughs> You're on. What's your name, sir? Uh, well, I, I go by many names. Some people know me uh, as, as uh, Billy Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Billy, can you step back from the camera so we can see you, you handsome love? There we go. That's, I should. You see me? Do you see me? That's my boy, Ben Kenny. That's Ben Kenny, folks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice to join you, Ben. How you guys feeling? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Feel a little sleepy. It's like midday nap time. Yeah. You, you ready for our trip next weekend? 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Me and Ben are going to San Diego next weekend. Uh, there you have it. You guys heard it here first. So if you guys want to buy two musicians dinner, you got Ben and Kilmore. <laughs> I can tell you the tab might get a little deep if we go to Venezuela. That's for sure. Um, yeah, Ben and I like to have a good time. So we thought it would be a nice way to, to get Mr. Ken in here. By, by Ken, Ben and I talked to, in New York City last week. And yeah. uh, Ben has agreed to do uh, a video chat with us. Now that you've watched Kill do the first one, are you still in, Ben? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. <laughs> uh, anybody interested in seeing Mr. Kenny uh, do his own little version of this? There's Carla. I see. Well, yeah. says yes. We got a lot of yeses here. And then Brian J. Mangabang, who's going, worlds are colliding. We got uh, we, we to make this a thing, Ben. This is, this is cool. I mean, you know, Rennie's got the technical difficulties every now and then yes. but ben they want to know what glasses you're wearing too ben what glasses are you Apparently wearing popular um well they're they're uh they're just they're they're uh they're just my glasses i i, I can't see very well without them i usually wear contacts the stars you know. have a line. yeah the, have the, the stars so, have a line. so ben what have you been doing up there well i i it's it's sad to say but i haven't actually left my house in about three days, I've been uh, can, I've can playing I, lots of drums and guitar and playing lots of bass, and I've been recording music and just uh, that's pretty much all I do. We call <laughs> we call ben, we call Ben the Brown Recluse because <laughs> recluse. because he only comes out once in a while. I, I, I want you to know that Ben was there bright and early in New York City uh, uh, for breakfast. And Ben, I don't know, but that was the most expensive. You know, eggs and bacon I've ever had in my life in New York City. I hope it you was. enjoyed yours. My wife wasn't absolutely. worth forty bucks. <laughs> so, yeah. all I, right. The, well, the you know, Ben, we're gonna we're gonna cure that. Use hanging around the house here, coming starting in about July, and uh, and by the time you get back to your couch, I think you'll be uh, you'll you'll be looking for it in a big way. So uh, we're going to see Ben next week. So let's Ben, can you ask some questions? Well, let's, okay, let's folks ask some questions while we got you on the internet. Let's ask Ben a question or two. Okay, fire away. Well, David says this band and its crew. There you go. Take a bow, boys. Are legendary. Love that. Kilmore, Ben, and Incubus. I love you. I don't think that's a question. Ben, you are so cool. Okay, here's one. What past album would you compare this new album to, Ben? If you had to, that's John Blackburn. Uh, well, hey John, um, that's impossible, man. This this record is not. This record is new. It doesn't it doesn't really have uh, have that strong of a tie to any of the old records. It's kind of um, it's, it's kind of a new sound. If you ask me, my opinion, you know, I think that we're we're doing stuff just a lot differently and making some really big big music here. That um, it doesn't it doesn't sound like any of the other records. If I said it sounded like any of the other records, you'd be like, when you finally heard it, you, you would think I, w I was a chump. Yeah, right? <laughs> it definitely sounds different than anything we've put out before. For okay. sure. Here's another question for both of you guys from Justine Bowsby. What do you miss more? You got to scroll yeah, back to What do you miss more when you're on the guess, Yeah, God, you guys are going so fast. <laughs> that, that, slow down. Brand yeah. Slow down. Hang in there with us. Okay, we got that. We get down further. Uh, we're going again. Good luck when you do yours, more, Ben. Family when you're on tour. What do you miss more <laughs> when you're on tour? Family when you're on tour, or when you're on tour, do you miss your family? When you're on tour, do you miss your family? Or when you're at home, do you miss tour? Sure, exactly. There you go. Thank you, Chris. That's why I'm. That's why I don't have a mic. <laughs> it's. It's always. I, can I go first? Yes. I, I would. I would say, being on tour. You always miss your family more than you miss being than you miss when you're home and you and you want to be on tour. It's that's that's a different thing. That's just like that's like uh, sitting at a dinner table and wanting to eat. It's like I want to eat when you're at home. I want to go on tour, but when you're on tour and you miss your family, that's like that's kind of a, a it's not the best feeling in the world, you know, because it may be months before for for me and pro, and for Chris as well. Like I know a lot of Chris's families back east. It's like for us. We don't get to see our family as often as, as we would like, so that ends up being a pain in the neck. So that's my answer. Chris, you've got a, a big family. How about you? Yeah. Uh, I miss my family. Uh, like Ben said, you know, both our families are from back east. Mine's from Pennsylvania. Ben's from Jersey. Um, 
And, you know, when we come off tour, we might only have a couple of days to, to regroup before we go back on tour. So sometimes it's a little tough to fly across country. And that's, that's, hence I don't see him as much as I would like to. But when I'm on tour and we're out for a long time, there's nothing like my own bed when I come home. So it's tough to get me out of the house to go see my family. But I call him. I've, you know, I chat with him all the time. Good, good. All right, well, you know, i got a whole bunch of questions coming up. We're going to save those questions up for Ben for when he comes in here. Ben, I want to say thanks for dropping in on us. And sorry to get you out of bed, but you can close the blinds and go what, back to the brown recluse. Yeah, the brown yeah, recluse. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got a couple hours to play some drums before my neighbors come home from work, so I'm going to do that. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Nice, and uh, you yeah. folks can ask him about what he was working on in a couple of weeks. Or ben, we'll set it out, and uh, we'll talk again. Good seeing you, Ben. See you, Ben. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to camera one. Okay, here we are. All right, folks, it's just about the end of our time here. Um, Chris, it's been a pleasure having you. Anything you'd like, uh, any parting shots for our, our fans here? Love you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to hear this new record. Um, it is, like Ben said, sounds totally different than anything we've done before, and I'm sure every artist will tell you that, so you guys just judge for yourself. But we love it. I we'll hope you love it. Um, and we hope to see you somewhere around the world in the next few months. Okay, folks, thanks a lot. I uh, hope you'll forgive us for all of our, uh, mostly my technical uh, inability to do anything. Um, but we really enjoy having you here today. Yeah. We're going to do a lot of bunch of fun things. Chris laid out a couple here. And yeah, if you I'm, miss them, we're going to put this up for, uh, yeah. for re-record. I'm, I'm totally willing to hang out with you guys, you know, for an hour here, an hour there. Maybe we can do something cool so if you guys have any suggestions let me know you know this is obviously a mobile format so you know hopefully we'll get you some live shots from the road maybe we'll come visit you sometime you know maybe you'll see the studio at my house and you know anything if you got any suggestions let's hear them you know maybe we'll, we'll do something cool together i bet you everybody wishes you'd pop by the site every once in a while so and i um, possibility yeah all absolutely. right folks it's been a pleasure having you here and uh, we'll see you again soon. And thanks for joining us on our first uh, ever podcast. Or what is it? What do you call this? Vidcast. Vidcast. We got it. Yeah. yeah. Somebody put up a better name than Vidcast. Folks, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.